Hey there, freaks and geeks. Welcome to another episode of Geek Out for a Minute. I'm your host, Rocky Rees, and today we're going to talk about TV411 at San Diego Comic Con. Let's cue that music. All right, so today we're going to cover some stuff on TV news, the TV 411. So we're going to start with the first topic, and this dropped at Comic Con: Agents of Shield. Uh, the this TV show uh, has now confirmed that they're going to have Gabriel Luna come in as Ghost Rider. So they're going to have Ghost Rider on the show. Now um, it's not Johnny Blaze. Apparently, it's this other Ghost Rider that has a charger, not a motorcycle, so some kind of vehicle. Now, um, for me, okay, um, I watched the season one, season two, and um, I just started losing interest uh, come season three. Uh, for me, the part with Lasher was just extremely boring. Um, then they brought in the Inhumans, uh, but they, they never talked about the, the main Inhuman guys because I'm assuming because they were saving that for the Marvel movies, but now no one's talking about the Inhumans. Now, I'm not sure if they've already confirmed that it's no longer going to be available, but uh, it seems like it's not going to happen. Um, so all in all, I just think that for me, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it's, it's not a good show for me. Now, I lost track around somewhere in the middle of last season, uh, season three, and just because I just couldn't watch it anymore, it's just kind of terrible for me. And uh, with them putting in Ghost Rider, it really doesn't excite me. And the reason for that, they've already failed twice uh, with this franchise um, with uh, Nicolas Cage movies. They went a go around once, and then they tried to bring it back with Spirit of Vengeance, and that was terrible as well. And they, they were really good concepts that were just poor executions. So for that, I'm saying I'm not excited about it. But I will check it out because I, I do want to see what uh, uh how this looks and how they're gonna have the budget for this now the next thing i do want to talk about is marvel's other half where they are succeeding and that's gonna be the marvel slash netflix tv series so we already saw season two of daredevil and jessica jones okay and both which were amazing amazing which has already confirmed punisher spinoff based on the second season of Daredevil. And then, of course, you're going to have uh, Luke Cage from Jessica Jones have his um, own series called Just Luke Cage. They released a trailer of it. It looks amazing. I can't wait to see this show. Super excited about it because I've, I've been wanting to see this ever since they announced that they were going to do The Defenders. Which brings me to the next thing, is that they also showed a teaser trailer for Iron Fist. And man, it's just like the news just keeps dropping for this Netflix shows. And they're so grounded and, and uh, really well done. So uh, Iron Fist, it shows just like little snippets that kind of give you uh, just a little flavor of what it's going to be like. But it's so far looks amazing. And then they also just dropped, uh, again, another teaser. But this is just, uh, it's just showing you like their logos and everything. But it's the Defenders, and that's going to be the combination of Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist together as a team. Um, so, uh, again, these are, these are shows that they've been knocking it out of the park from season one with Daredevil, um, Jessica Jones, and season two of Daredevil. Man, I'm blown away. So I can't, actually can't wait for season two of Jessica Jones, which they have already confirmed that they're going to go for. So I'm really excited for this. Um, now, another set of TV news is Gotham. Uh, they actually just showed, uh, I just saw a poster of it, and it shows the Court of Owl masks. And I, I can't help but think how disappointed I am in this TV show, because for me, it started off really well. Um, for season one, I actually liked it as a crime drama, and I've said this time and time again um, that I liked it as a crime drama when they had the Falcones and the, and Marone Maroni's crew like going at it, and they'd have like little snippets between the Penguin coming into power and you know uh, the Riddler beginning to lose his mind and um, become more and more towards the Riddler. But you know. Then it shifted onto trying to just name drop all the Batman villains, and Batman is just a kid. Um, so 
we're just never going to see Batman and we're going to see all these villains. So by the time he's a grown up, I don't understand how these villains are actually going to be a threat. They're going to be what in their late 30s, late 40s, you know. Now, unless you're like a type gangster where you you control the mob or you're like the penguin, that makes sense. But you're telling me somebody that's going to go toe to toe with Batman. I just don't see it. So uh, the Court of Owls, even though it, in the comics, it was kind of like an underground 1% kind of like uh, Illuminati uh, type of thing, Freemason or whatever you want to call it, just these secret society type things um, where they're actually controlling everything. Uh, and, and they kind of showed it in, in the Court of Owls of, of the um, Batman comics. And there's an animated one as well where they showed that they've basically been together for a really long time, just kind of like you know, moving the pieces behind the behind the scenes, behind the curtain. So, um, I w it's cool if they touch on it, but I I don't want it to be like, hey, we solved the problem. And without Batman, it's just I, I don't I don't like these little storylines that they're going for. Um, I think it should just go right back to being a crime drama, a, a crime drama again, as I said before. Uh, so uh, moving along, uh, we're gonna get uh, Fox has announced that they're gonna do an X Men TV show. But it's not going to be what you think. It's not going to be like, you know, hey, this is, you know, like Xavier or, you know, uh, Logan or anything like that. Uh, basically, the storyline is going to be about two parents, like two mothers running with their kids and their adventures running away from the government. And uh, as they, re they receive more tension and it gets more intense, you know, their powers start coming to fruition, just like the comics, you know. Um, but the thing is, uh, again... I just don't see why they call it X-Men. Um, I, I, you can make this TV show about something completely different, and uh, I just don't see why you would call it X-Men if it's not pertaining to Xavier's school for the gift for gifted students, right? Um, so I'm, I'm really bummed out when I heard what the premise was for it. And what's even more bum, bumming than this, because once I heard that, uh, um, a lot of people are comparing it to uh, Midnight Special, um, which is a movie that has gotten pretty good praise. It's an indie film, um, but I, I still have yet to check it out, so I do want to check it out, but I heard it's the same plot line as that TV show is going to be. Uh, but one thing that sucks is that they're, they're canceling. They were going to do a Hellfire TV show. So when I first heard of it, I was like, Hellfire Club? Hell yeah. I want to hear about this. This sounds awesome, right? And uh, so for those of you that don't know, uh, this would be like, you know, uh, the White Queen uh, and uh, Sebastian Shaw and just the Hellfire Club, and uh, which is a team that were gathered together by invitation only, so you couldn't just try out for it. You know, you had to do that, but that got canceled, so that's no longer going to happen. Bums me up because I'm more interested in seeing that than I am about the, the X-Men colon Midnight Specials TV series, you know, so... All right, so now I'm going to move along again. So now we got The Walking Dead Season 7. And um, I saw the Comic-Con trailer. And um, and I got to say, I mean, they kind of give you a little montage of what happened in the last season. Now, for me, again, this is for me, I lost interest halfway through the season of, of, um, of last uh, season 6. The reason for that, there's just a lot of things that just doesn't make sense to me. Um, so how you have um I, I forget the uh black character's name that's got the staff and he just has like this moral code where like a few seasons ago he was crazy so now all of a sudden he has this huge moral code and it just doesn't make sense in this world that's become already it makes sense for you to see people with a moral code in fear of the walking dead because that's just as it's happening so for you to kill people that were once human i can see how that's something that phases you in a different way um, after you've been out for six years seven years plus I mean uh, being around zombies I, I'd say you'd say like fuck that throw that shit out the window right um, so I don't see why he would have a problem killing these people that are clearly the misfits the, the raping pillaging and, and you know uh, and all the stuff that they do the killing so I don't see why he would even do that it just doesn't make sense to me but um, but later on, as you started seeing more as the, the crew, which is that you later on find out that it's uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan playing, um, who's playing Negan, 
you know, I gotta say, after, after seeing that crew and how they're battling it out, uh, I, I got interested in it again. But too bad, it's just so much like fluff to get something really good that really bummed me out. Um, so I wanna uh, move along. Now, I won't be talking about Fear the Walking Dead because I only saw a few episodes of the second season. But the first season, I was really into it. I really did like it. I, I liked where they were going. So, um, but from what I hear, it's kind of like a mid-season finale, which is like the same thing that The Walking Dead now does, uh, where they'll like you know pause in the middle of the season, give it a, like a few month break, and then come back like in February. So um, that's what they're doing. So uh, let me move it along again. As you can see, I'm going pretty fast because there's so much stuff that dropped. Now, and then you have The Flash, uh, which now we'll be getting into Season 3. And they just dropped uh, Wally West as Kid Flash. And um, they, they put him in the costume. Now, if you don't know, uh, Wally West is the uh, his stepfather's kind of uh, uh, son, his biological son. And he came into the picture like just last season and, you know... And I thought, okay, cool, I can see where this is going, and I, we all know who Wally West is, you know, but for me, my favorite uh, Flash is Barry Allen. But one thing that just kind of bugs me about uh, the Wally West thing is that everybody has to be a speedster in this show now, and I really want them to focus on, you know, other villains and other people with powers or maybe some other cameos, like, I don't know, maybe Green Lantern, maybe Superman, you know, um... You know, or maybe even Batman. Uh, I don't understand why they can't use these characters if they're already going to use, you know, Barry Allen in the uh, the DC universe in their cinematic universe with uh, Ezra Miller. Um, just a lot of things just doesn't make sense to me. But I would rather see cameos of other DC characters, you know, like they brought in before. Like even with Constantine, I would love to see Constantine back, and I would love to see CW take on. Constantine because that show I really did enjoy that first season and it ended pretty good I was kind of hoping that they were gonna come back to it and uh, it, it's a damn shame that uh, Fox ended up you know canceling it um, and they kept Gotham which is kind of weird but you know whatever Where, wherever the fans are I guess whoever's watching the show you know whatever um, so yeah I'm, uh, for me the Wally West costume just looks stupid um, I'm tired of seeing all these speedsters you know um, I want to see like I don't know Mirror Master, you know. Um, I, I like I like the Captain Cold they brought in, but I guess now they're not going to use him because he's now a hero in Legends of Tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I mean he was and he was a great villain along with Heatwave. But you know I would like to see more of his Rogues Gallery, you know, because um, he has an extensive and really weird kooky Rogues Gallery that you can do a lot of fun stuff with. And uh, actually, I really like to see them bring uh, Captain Boomerang back, uh, which they had him for a season. And uh, and then of course, uh, you know, you have um, the CW has recently got uh, the uh, Supergirl. So they took Supergirl from CBS, and now they put her into the CW. So the CW is now going to feature the TV show instead of instead of um, uh, what's called CBS which is their sister company. Um, and I got to tell you again, um, I've said this time and time again, over and over and over, I can't get into this show. Um, I saw a few episodes of the first season and people told me, keep watching it. I saw the other, uh, another episode where The Flash does a cameo. And even that for me, like Barry Allen was good, but everyone else's acting is just so wooden to me that I just can't get into it, you know? So... For me, it's a no-go. Um, but now they're going to do uh, season two, and we'll see what the CW is going to do. Who knows if they're going to fork over more money uh, or if it, or how well it's actually really tracking. But it just kind of reminds me of Smallville um, kind of meets the Devil Wears Prada, and I've said that before as well. And um, now they also casted another person as um, Superman in this TV show. Who is, now they're going to finally bring in Superman, I guess. Uh, where I, what I would like to have seen was um, uh, Tom Weller. I think Tom Weller or Tom Wells. Uh, he played Superman in in the um, when they had uh, Smallville, and I think it would have been cool to bring him in to the the CW 
TV universe. Um, but instead of having the cape and the tights, that he would have like the black shirt with the Superman S and the jeans and the, and the tennis shoes, like a Superboy kind of character, I think that would have been really interesting to bring back and kind of give like a nod to the old TV show. But um, hey man, um, that's so far what I got so far that's dropped. I mean, there's other stuff that just dropped and it's still gonna drop because Comic-Con is still going on. And of course, I'm gonna do some other movie reviews which I didn't get a chance to do as well as some of the um, more Comic Con news as they come along, because as you can, as you know, we got Suicide Squad coming this August fifth. So I can't wait to see this movie. I've been wanting to see, and there's a lot of trailers that drop. So um, I look forward to doing that for you. Other than that, guys, look, that's all I got here today. Look, uh, let me know what you guys think of any of these topics. I mean, obviously we ran through a lot of things here, but. Do let me know what are your thoughts, what do you want to see, do you disagree with anything that I said, can you defend it properly, hey, let us know in the comments below. Other than that, share, discuss, subscribe, and don't forget to spread the word. Thank you guys for watching, click that like button if you dig it, and I'll see you next time.